Hi everyone, this is Lian Ang from my long table where I help to make cooking from home fun. Um, I'm going to do a, introduce a couple of products today that I'm working on this morning and will be uploaded to the Go Kids online, uh, my long table online store. So I'm just going to flip this uh, camera um, over and I'll be showing you the product. Um, on here, um, I'm going to do this uh, range, which is the tamarind, and this is the tamarind sliced. So the difference is, this one is, um, actually they are different species, uh, but I will go into that another day. So mainly, I'm just going to let you know what we use those products for. These are the dry tamarind, uh, we call it tamarind peeled, sliced, or uh, asam keping in Malay. So what we do is um, they are more sour than uh, this uh, tamarind pulp. What we normally do is, um, because it's dry, we normally cook it in a soup uh, based dish like asam laksa or any dish that um, we want uh, to bring up some sourness uh, for that dish. So instead of lime or lemon, we use tamarind. And this is more popular in the Malaysian and Thailand cooking. As for the tamarind uh, pulp, um, we normally use it for um, less sour dishes, which is something that we just uh, not soup based, but uh, gravy based, like uh, the prawn, uh, asam prawn, which is more of a dryish dish, which I will show you um, another day how we do that. So what do we do is, um, now, you probably will just use some of, uh, peel up some, like these, um, which is what I do, something like this, just um, a little, uh, the shape of a little ball. And um, this is what I've already done, soaked it in a lukewarm water for probably about 10 minutes. And this is what you'll be getting. So this juice, which is sort of like sourish, sweet, but it's not as sour as the, 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 peel. So this one we will just add it into a dish which is uh, not soup based but more gravy based, dryish based but we want the sour uh, flavor and taste and this is mainly uh, we, I use alternate between tamarind, lemon or lime. If I have a lime or lemon I'll use tamarind. So to get this water you normally just sieve it and you just use it in the dish. And I've just added these two products. Um, it comes in packaging like this. This is the tamarind uh, pulp and this is the slice. So check it out on the online store if you ever want to cook uh, any Malaysian dishes that you require those two, two uh, items. And it's, um, you will use this one in uh, sambal ikan bilis. This is for nasi lemak or asam prawn, and you will use this mainly for the asam laksa, all right? Okay, I'm just gonna move to another product that I'll be adding uh, very shortly, is the sambal belacan. It's a, this is a dried shrimp paste, uh, which normally comes in cube, and you have to put it onto um, a pan to dry it, and sort of make it into powdery, but now, what I have is in the powder form. So it's already roasted on the pan, ready to go. So um, what we normally do this is to make sambal belacan, which is one of the del uh, delicacy of Malaysia, which is chili and belacan. I mean, um, the smell, I mean, if you have been to Asia and you've smelled it before, when we, uh, roast this shrimp paste is actually really smelly, but the taste is really awesome. 
So, but what I'm going to show you is, now, if you get it straight out from the package, which is good to go, but per, it's, it's a little bit light. I mean, for my personal preference, I actually used, uh, I put it on the pan again and I re-roasted it. So, it's more fragrant and I like it drier. So, when I add it onto the Samba Blat, I'm going to make Samba Blatan, um, I'm just going to add it like this. And then you, 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 and then you just mix it. Um, and if you like the shrimp paste flavor stronger, add more. I mean, I, I would probably use up all because I like it very strong. And to top it off, if you like it, um, you can add lime. Um, but the best is um, the round lime, is we call it calamansi, which I can't find it at the moment, but I'll show it to you later. So these three products will be added into the store very shortly. Um, now, another thing I want to talk about is to minimize the cooking time, the preparation time. So this is my tub of blended chili. It's just pure chili. And normally, if I go to the shop, I'll buy um, probably about a kilo, two kilos worth of chili, and I'll blend it, and I deep freeze them, right? So anytime I need it, I'll just take it out from the freezer, and I'll scoop it onto a bowl. Now, you can make um, a larger quantity of samba blachan, but do be aware, they do not last very long in the fridge. After three, four days, you may not. It may, it may not be as fresh and as nice and it may even go moldy. So normally, if I were to do, I would do like a big bowl worth of samba blachan and I will deep freeze them. And then I'll just take whatever I need like, and then you serve it based on the one teaspoon or two teaspoon, how much you need, and then freeze them. So that way, your samba blachan will last longer. All right, so... Um, head to the sh uh, store, online store, and check out these three products and leave me any message if you want me to do any uh, more explanation or demo on how to use those products, let me know. Alright, have a good day. I'll talk to you soon.